Welcome to Congregation Agud Shalom's This Week in Jewish History with Rabbi Oran Zweiter. This week, I'd like to discuss someone known at times as the forgotten hero of the State of Israel, Prime Minister Levi Eshkol. Eshkol was born on October 25, 1885, in the small town of Ortovo, near Kiev in the Ukraine. As a youngster, Eshkol worked in the family agricultural business even losing a finger one time while working. Eshkol received a traditional Jewish education in Cheder, and after finishing his studies in the Cheder, Eshkol was accepted to the gymnasium, essentially a Jewish high school in Vilna. And it was here in Vilna that Eshkol absorbed the Zionist spirit that would lead him on his life's path. Upon completing his studies in Vilna, Eshkol immigrated to Palestine, where he helped the nascent Jewish settlements in Palestine, working in various settlements along the coast, as well as along the Jordan River Valley. During the First World War, Eshkol volunteered for the Jewish Legion, one of the few brigades in the British Army, whose goal it was to liberate Palestine from, Jew- from Turkish rule. In the years leading up to the establishment of the State of Israel, Eshkol played pivotal roles in such major Zionist enterprises as the Jewish Agency, the Israel National Water Company, and perhaps most importantly, in the establishment of Tzahal, the Israel Defense Forces. With the establishment of the state in 1948, Eshkol continued his pivotal role in many important positions in the nascent state. He served as Minister of Agriculture, Minister of Finance, until finally being elected Prime Minister in 1963. As Prime Minister, Eshkol accomplished many important things, including building up the Israeli military industry, and strengthening the relationship between the young Jewish state and the United States government. Eshkol enjoyed a good relationship with President Lyndon B. Johnson and was the first Israeli prime minister to be invited on a state visit to Washington. However, the most critical event of Eshkol's tenure as prime minister came, of course, in 1967 with the outbreak of the Six-Day War. With the threat of annihilation coming from Arab armies on all sides, the small Jewish state launched a preemptive strike under Eshkol's orders, essentially turning the tide of war in its very first hours. Eshkol made other critical decisions in the first days of the war, including expanding his government to bring in his right-wing opposition, and appointing Moshe Dayan as defense minister. It is often Dayan, as well as Chief of Staff Rabin, Yitzhak Rabin, who are given credit for Israel's incredible victory in June of 1967. However, it was also the decision-making of Prime Minister Levi Eshkol which led to its incredible victory, thus making him one of the forgotten heroes of the State of Israel. Prime Minister Eshkol died in 1969 from a heart attack, the only Israeli Prime Minister ever to die while in office, and he is buried on, the Mount, on Mount Herzl, near Israel's great leaders. Thank you for listening, and have a great week.